So it's Sunday morning and uh, time to head back home. We're gonna take a detour south today so we can go over uh, by a bulb. That's a road Jackie really likes that ride. So it's been a good stay at Snowbird and let's go. So I've laid us out a nice curvy route to get us home to Waynesville and we've come out of the Snowbird Lodge this morning on Snowbird Road, taking that into Robbinsville. Then we hopped on 129 to get down to the Nantahala Gorge and afterwards we did the ride over beautiful wire bald. It's a great ride, you need to do that one. And we have found our first break at Loafer's Glory. Wayne, how was your ride down? It was really good. And uh, now that we've reached the end of Wire Road, um, the interesting part starts for me. I am going to attempt to do a magic trick and make the town of Franklin disappear. Um, that means I'm going to try to find a way through here, all on back roads, to the point where we don't even know the town is here. There are two ways to get through Franklin, which is about five miles to our east. Uh, you can take the four lane. And it's usually packed with traffic. and Cops, or you can take uh, Old Murphy Road, which runs you through downtown, and you got to hit all the stop signs and light. I think I can route us just south of town on little tiny back roads and go literally from Wire Road here over to the next mountain road that we're going to get over near um, the Color Sage Gorge. So let's see how that goes. Okay, there's the highway which we are trying to avoid. So, here we go. So I know this road, this is a uh, Patton, Patton Road. And uh, I do use it sometimes, so I know this one's a good one. Oh, it just kind of rolls through the neighborhood. It does have a few nice twisty spots along it. So far so good. Nothing that even resembles a town or a city. And the road's pretty good too. Ready. Okay, now it gets a little tricky. We are getting out near uh, US 441 here. north or no this is a uh, Belden circle coming north and we're going to see if we can't skirt this way okay looks a little bit more townish but we're not out to the main road yet we just need to hop across it for a short section.
Okay, admittedly that looked a little townish. But we're not on the highway. And it really didn't slow us down much at all. That's kind of fruity. Little Tennessee River. Okay. Got one more road to hop. Oh, that's handy, new traffic circle. south of town now and so far uh, traffic has been pretty light on the back roads here we've crossed the last of the larger ones and uh, soon we'll start veering off to the west more to kind of run parallel to uh, busy US 6428 down towards the Colisage River Gorge staying to these little tiny back roads is starting to look appealing to you, I'm going to post it online at the Miles by Motorcycle main forum. If you uh, log in there, just create a quick account and go to the uh, main forums. You'll see it there. You can uh, zoom in on the map, look at the individual roads some more. And also, I'll make it a, uh, a GPX available download. Just click on the uh, download GPX button on the map there, Miles by Motorcycle. I'll also post the link in the comments section below uh, the video on our America Rides Maps YouTube channel. And while you're looking for that link, don't forget to give us a nice thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you can uh, see some more good stuff like this. And there you have it. We are now at US 64, just outside of the Telesager Gorge. We've avoided all of the traffic and congestion coming in here. And outside of that one little jog, you know, right in the middle where you hit uh, kind of the heart of US 441, it's uh, not a bad little, not a shortcut, but a more interesting way to go. Let's top off before we hit the woods. So I did manage to make the town of Franklin disappear more or less. Of the three choices, uh, going on the highway or going through town or taking little twisty back roads, you know, I'm going with the little twisty back roads most every time. If you're like me and you like riding the little twisty back roads, you need to take a look at my maps. That's what I do. I look for those and find the ways around the towns and around the congestion and get you off the main roads and on those little two-lane twisty back roads we all love to ride. So it's time to head back up in the hills now. We've got two big furry golden boys waiting for us at home and it's been a really, really nice weekend to Snowbird, North Carolina. There he is. <laughs> There's the other one. Oh, did you bring me a bone? How nice. Oh, we missed you too. Oh, we did. Oh. <laughs>